Hey guys, so how are you doing? So today we are going to see how to improve your line sketching to go from something which is more beginner as a 2D and how to get there, which is a drawing which is more professional, having a better expression of line drawing and having a more three-dimension effect. So I'm going to, we are going to see a lot of exercises to practice your lines. And the first thing that we are going to see is how to get a good pen. But what is a good pen? We are going to have three pens here, and it's not especially the most expensive that is the best. Uh, this pen here is very cheap. This pen here is a branded, but the big soft filling with a nice uh, rubber here. And this, win this pen here was made in Germany. I just bought it yesterday, and I thought that I could give it a chance. But at the end, I quite regret it, and <laughs> we'll see uh, why in the next uh, minute. And just a little, little little note here on this pen. Can you see here this rubber? Which is actually pretty cool because you can uh, have a good feeling here, a soft feeling when you hold it. And have you heard about the artist bump on the finger that you can also find on the writer's finger also? Okay. So can you say, see here the artist bump right here? That this is when I'm holding the, the, the pen like this from here. Which I don't have uh, with my left hand, which is right here. And this is kind of having a trophy, <laughs> I would say, like a medal, saying that you have been drawing and kind of rewarding to remind you how much you have been drawing. And the more you draw, the more this bump is going to grow. And of course, it's harmless, but it's pretty, it's pretty fun to have it. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. So uh, let's do a first. A uh, very quick pen test about what is a good pen. So here, good pen. Of course, it's good pen for drawing. So let's start with the cheap one. So we are going to draw some curves from different thickness. And this pen, I quite have difficulties to go from light to dark. Somehow it's possible, of course, but the contrast is not so obvious because it's a very thin uh, lines. And you can have here for the medium one. And the contrast is much more obvious. Okay. So this is medium lines. This one has good contrast. This one is really neat, but maybe too neat somehow. <laughs> it looks like kind of a technical feeling. Why this one, I quite like it because it looks more uh, expressive feeling. You have a lot of uh, margin to play from very, very light to darker. And the third one, hopla, here we go, which is from very light, already quite dark. Start dark. And if I press harder, it's, uh, it's black. So this is nice to have very black ink. But the thing is, uh, because of the sensitivity, I cannot. Very, it's very difficult to get something very light. But the main problem, okay, let's see. Here, it's more like thick lines. <clears throat> but the main issue that I have with this pen is all this. This uh, it created a lot of blob, blobs, and this is something that you have to to avoid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's going to make your drawing pretty messy. Like, hello, bonjour, hop là. And when you are going to, to draw and if a blob appear, you're going to, to have easily some something like that. Because they can appear very well randomly, random stain will appear like this when you draw. Because you can see that there is an accumulation of ink uh, on, on the tip right here. Hey, can I have also a focus? 
Cut. Here we go. And this one is much thinner of the bore, as you can see here, just for info. And the pen that I select as the best, that the one I like the most, is this one. Oh, winner. <laughs> winner. This is nice. This is super nice. Oh, let's give him a crown. And this one is super not nice. Boo. <laughs> okay, so I would recommend you guys to start with drawing with this pen, which I prefer the best. And this one is still fine. And this one I just avoid it. But like what my friend Martin is saying, the best pen to draw uh, is actually the one that you have on your pocket. Like, I mean, like just next to you. You don't have to wait for the perfect pen to draw, okay? If the only pen that you have is similar to this one, you just go ahead. Okay, so let's start our demo of sketching. Now we are going to do a sketching demo. Here we go. So in this sketching demo, we are going to see beginner uh, and pro. So when you draw like a beginner, you tend to draw like this. So it's very shy <coughs> and flat. And there is no expression. Kind of blend. And when you're pro, hopla. as you can see, what I'm doing is um, looking for It's pretty funny because whenever I draw when <laughs> doing a demo, I try to uh, to have the feeling of doing something perfect, and then like, I'm attracted to this style. So I'm not very satisfied with this one because I'm talking and drawing at the same time, trying to do things well for you guys, and I don't like it. So, well, actually, if I have no fear, I've released the fear of trying to showing something nice. Is going like this. Okay, so this is good. This is okay. This is so so. <laughs> so as you can see here, there's a lot more fluidity. Fluidity. This is also, but I can see there is more freedom here when I draw. Okay. When here you're trying to have a brain that is looking for perfection, it creates, it's creating some uh, noise somehow in your mind that actually just creating all this uh, shy, shy, shy effect. Shy, shy, shy effect all along. But you want something that is very free going like this. And to get there, you need to be okay with imperfection. And this is why, as you can see, I got doing some overlap when I draw. I don't, I don't just draw one loop, I draw multi-loops. Multi-loops. I'm overlapping. And when I do it, I kind of also want to iterate, like remember here, I was drawing the first loop here. Then I go and dig inside here, dig inside here. So I'm doing some uh, iteration right here. I adjust it along the way. I don't have to be perfect from the first one, okay? So whenever I draw so I add some contour lines. And you can see here, contour line is just sharp here, pop, pop. There is no sense of volume. When I want to draw, I want to have something that having a curve going behind, going below. I want to have this feeling that is going all around. Okay. 
So when I draw a saw, I like to add some line weight below to give more depth to your drawing. Here I imagine that there is a sun, so I give more line weight all along here. I also add some, let's say, ground shadow with hatching that is inside the zone, hatching in zone area. Basically, I draw something like that. So you need some controls to do that, go beyond. Uh, I can add also maybe some hopla, hatching here also, if I want to. To add some more depth. <clears throat> can add some more contour line right here, very light, and <clears throat> we got course of the line weight. That is a difference of boldness from this one to this one. So the contour line and tend to be more uh, invisible line, so I try to make it much lighter. It's also because it's very help you to construct the volume and express the volume as well. Okay. So here, add some extra. Voilà. So that's it. So this is how we are going to get something that is more confident. Even though it's more messy, there's a lot more lines than here. It's, it looks much more expressive, and this is what we want. So let's start with the exercise, exercise um, number one which we are going to see the overlap. So the overlap with curves first. Let's write it, the overlap here. So with curves. So instead of just drawing one shot, you can draw, you go and you come back. So you train to reverse your movement, okay? And you can draw as many times as you, you wish. Usually I like to do two times. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's a rhythm. One, two, one, two. Uh, you can draw also then with some different beans. So the first one doesn't have to be perfect. And then apply. you adjust. We feel more and more comfortable with the next loops. Up here we go. And as you can see, once again, uh, <clears throat> when I draw, I'm not focusing on the bean like this, on the nib. I'm moving my wall arm, okay? Ooh, it's very free. And random also. Only this is touching the paper. This thing is not touching, so it allows me to be very free in my movement. Think of a tripod when you draw like this, uh, the nib, the tip of your finger and this pen. Think like a tripod. And then you continue. Hopla. And let's say I will purposely fail the first loop, maybe uh, like this. I don't know. And then after I just continue. Doesn't matter if the first one fell, then after you correct it. Okay? Start light. <clears throat> and then you bold along the way. Bold along the way. Okay? So once again, you have to be okay with imperfection. And then you adjust along the way. Then adjust. That's why it's cool with sketching. You don't have to be perfect having the first uh, perfect shot uh, from the first drawing. You just draw light and then you continue. Okay? Then next exercise is about the pen pressure. Pen pressure. 
up. So I would like you guys to draw with different gradients. So first start with very light, very gentle. So it's just touching very lightly the paper. And then at the opposite, you want to have something very dark. Okay, and then you can try to draw something in between. That's it. So you try to have nice gradient, gradient of boldness. Being very gentle here and very dark here. Then you can also train to draw different lines and press differently along. See, thin, dark, thin, dark. That's it. Just explore. Just explore the the the, the usage of your pen. I just want you to be more familiar with it. A very gentle. That's it. Just cover <laughs> with anyhow. Very dark. You have to do it consciously, trying to feel uh, what pressure do you apply and what result do you get. And as soon as you get like a pen that you love very much, try to stick to it. You can buy a pack of the same pen by 10 or 20 of them. And so you'll be, uh, you, your brain and your hand will be calibrated to, to, to that pen, okay? Uh, so next exercise is going to be control your trajectory. Let's call it trajectory. Control. So basically here, let's say you have, let's draw a bin right here. And imagine that there's a sun right here. So what I'm going to do is going to add some line here to bold it. Hopla. So it's going to be from here to here. So here will be lighter, lighter, and all this side will be darker. It helps to uh, give your drawing more expressions because it gets some, some kind of shadow. Let's draw another one. Mm -hmm. So the center about here. And then I'm going to draw below here. And I can go into the details, go here. Hop là. turn my paper. That's it. Create some contrast between with this area to this area. You want to get some contrast. And then you can add some contour lines <coughs> to this pin. So you can see watch the random uh, random tut random uh, drawing tutorials to have more info and practice on this. So you can draw multiple bin and try this exercise and imagine to have this <coughs> and having this imaginary sun. here to here so if this is getting tricky you can divide your curve 
let's say here you can do like this. This is like a mini S curve. Then you section here, and here you have like a giant C curve. You can also divide them. Don't have to be one shot. Carry on. Hop. Some different beans. <laughs> okay, so it's about the trajectory control. So remember, you can try to have a very long one that is complex, or you just divide them by simple S curve or C curves. So I also created a video about this that you can actually learning some different type of simple curves to create some complex drawing. Uh, <clears throat> next one is about the line control. Line control. Oh. What I would like you guys to do is to draw some strokes. So let's say with three strokes that having intersection. Oh. Then four. One, two, Three, four, just randomly, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, you can see from here to here, just connect up, up, here to here, connect. That's it, here to here, connect. So apply the ghost drawing when you draw. I like to dot dot ghost drawing and draw. Dot dot ghost drawing, draw. Dot dot ghost drawing, draw. Here, here. So I try to gain some accuracy when I draw. And control. So I'm not going beyond. Okay. So then after Next exercises will be the hatching, which is also part of the line control, I would say. Hatching. <clears throat> hop, hop, hop. Uh, you can draw between two lines. By default, hatching is actually uh, just like this. So there is no limitation outside. No limit. But now, we would like to draw between these two lines. And feel free to use the ghost drawing as much as you want, as necessary. Okay, so two lines, more or less thin. Or also then <clears throat> between two curves. Even though there's many, many lines to draw, I like to apply the ghost drawing whenever I feel that I need. And then between shape, random shape. I try to have a rhythm when I draw like do 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 draw, do 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 draw, do 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 draw. And it allow me to to create some spaces that is pretty equal. Sometimes it can be, if you feel confident, it can be one, two, three, four, depend, can be ghost drawing, do 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 do, draw, do 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 do, draw, or do 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 do. Choose the rhythm that you like on how confident you feel at the moment when you're practicing, okay? <clears throat> Uh, and the last, last, oh, you can draw also the hatching here. Do, do, do. Here we go. And something to avoid um, whenever like you are drawing a form, let's say I draw a form first. if you can, is to avoid drawing the same direction of one of the line. Let's say this line go here, right? Try to avoid doing this. 
it goes to the same direction. So it feels like a texture somehow. If it's not a texture, try to be more abstract, having something that is opposing uh, the different line arounds. Okay? Like for example, if you have these two here, try to avoid doing hatching the same way. If it's here, like between two curves, uh, try avoid this. Try to be oops, like, making it here. Something that is breaking the rhythm. Okay? So try as many, many as you can. Fill the paper. And no more paper right here. Let me find some more. Up. <clears throat> And we are going to see the happy accident. Hopla, let's draw some random form like this. And you draw some random forms like this. And you try to extract some interesting stuff that you can do. Maybe here, something cool appear here. And then the sun is here. So I'm going to ball here a little bit more. I'm practicing this line control right here from here to here. I add a bit of uh, shadow here if I want to with hatching. <clears throat> hop, 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 hop. See here is semi control, semi uh, delimitation. I have this line to follow, and then below I quite open it purposely, so it makes the sketch uh, a bit more light. Then I can add some shadow here on the floor. Toot, toot, toot. Mm -hmm. Add some contour lines. And I can iterate if I want the thing a bit thinner here on. Inside, I can also iterate. Like here, if I want to get thinner as well, I can also up, I modify it up and I adjust the contour drawing, contour lines. <coughs> That's it. So, this is a happy accident. Happy accident that is great to practice when you have totally no ideas of what you can draw. You just draw some wonder forms and try what we can uh, get out from it. Okay? So that's it for all the line expressions. So we can recapitulate on all the things that we have seen. <clears throat> so we have here uh, the technique of the overlap. So we wanted to draw something and then come back. So you draw some multiple beans and then you repeat. Okay? <laughs> so you can start light first and then you ball along the way. Okay? So then we have the pen pressure from very light to very dark. And you try to get something in between. So try to get as many gradients as possible. Then you try here some different line weight along the way just to get more familiar with your pen. <coughs> here is the sketching demo from a uh, beginner to pro. Here we go. So with all the parameters that we saw that we are going to work on. So we have the trajectory control try to draw this complex line and if it's too difficult to do so you can just divide it by simple s curve and c curves uh, remember that there's a, oh, the sun here and at the opposite you have this shadow adding some line weight and add some contour lines after that if you want to create more volume then you have the line control you draw some multiple intersecting line and then up in between just try to control it don't go, don't go beyond Okay, so it's okay to be a little bit more, it's fine also. You don't have to be sharp, 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 exactly. Uh, then we have the hatching, oh, wait, line control, hatching, draw some curve limitation, um, line limitation. 
to hatching inside, curve limitation here, hatching inside, and then some beans and hatching inside. Okay? So between lines, between curves, and between the bean. And then finally, you have the happy accident right here. You just draw some random forms, and then you try to extract something cool that is going on inside. You can combine the forms, and then after you apply all the things that you have learned. All right, so the main key to have improved of lines is to really feel like more free. And the more you will practice, the more accuracy you will get. So remember that the, the key is to iterate along the way to, to get the form that you want. All right, so I hope you like this uh, tutorial drawing, drawing tutorials with some many, many exercises. And let me know in the comment if it's something that you would like to see more. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.